Okay, let's see what we have here. We have one fuselage. We have one stabilizer. We have one vertical fin. We have two wings, one left and one right. And we have some innards. Okay. Oh, of course, we have four. Yeah, we have four wheels. And of course, uh, I'm not going to have four wheels of the airplane. It's just that if you can't use it this thin because it will break and fold. So I will glue, hot glue them together like that to get a little bit thicker. Uh, wheels and that should work nice. Also uh, on my first prototype uh, I had uh, the di diameter of the wheels were a little bit smaller but I made this a little bit larger, larger so it will cope with the grass fields a little bit better and of course the the ribs for all of them. So now we have to tweak all the parts and I think I'll start with the uh, with the vertical fin to make the hinges you can see I have already cut uh, through the paper and to just fold it like this and uh, now I'm going to do the rest of the hinge and uh, if you look at flight test flighttest.com uh, the guys there like David and Josh and, and everyone there when they do it they just fold it and then they uh, take their exacto knife and they cut like that uh, I'm not that proficient uh, uh, in cutting these things so uh, I will use another method that I will show now so I've cut the first the first cut and then I put my ruler here I go out as much as I want to go and uh, like that and then I cut again but carefully just through through the paper like this only through the paper only through the paper and then I pick up and I peel it off and it can be a little bit messy so I'll pause the camera and I do this so you don't have to watch me doing this Okay, now that I have peeled off the paper, or at least most of it, I fold it away and then I use my sandpaper and I just sand away. And as you can see, it goes. fairly quick just a little bit more there and then I get a nice sharp edge all the way and it looks exactly like David Windestall would have done it Here you can see again I have the the stabilizer and I just peel off the paper like this. Sometimes you're lucky and there you go. And then I just take my sanding paper and start sanding the foam.
be careful not to sand too much because you don't want to sand off the sand off the paper the back paper because you will need it that's the thing that keeps the hinge and now we're done mm, okay so now I have uh, cut the grooves here uh, or the I cut the, to make the grooves and uh, same, same way as with the, the hinges I found it much easier if I peel away the paper on top and then I have a tool that I made that I can't find right now so I'll have to make another one just a second mm, right here is the tool I used the same three millimeter plastic you can use play wood plywood or whatever and then I just put it in here in the groove and and push it let's see if you can see what I do it yeah and then you just push it through like that clean it up and then you have nice clean folding area so I'll do the rest oh, okay and here's some more on the fly designing it um, I discovered that well or I I did it this way on my prototype I, I cut with the exacto knife just through the paper and then I mushed, mushed the the foam underneath and I thought I would not need to do the cutting to shape the wing but I you have to do that it, it didn't work so I will change the plans accordingly and uh, cut and then mush it and then gently shape the wing like this gently gently just shape the wing so you don't have to force it too much when you t put the put the ribs on so I just Shape it like this. Try not to burn my arm on the glue gun because I it's soon time to start gluing. And then the last part, you see I have folded it quite much now, and that's just because when you glue it you don't want to want it to straighten out again so and then you have the, sh the shape it's it's, uh, it's a bit too much now but it's easier to glue glue it on glue the ribs on okay let's try and glue the first rib I have measured 20 centimeters from uh, inside to um, approximately half the wing. It's a little bit more inside, and three centimeters. Centimeters. Let's see if you can see what I'm pointing at for the other one. I will glue the first one, and as I have already shaped the wing, I think I think I hope this was this will be. Uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, I've prepared with uh, some uh, pieces here to wipe off excess glue and I just shape it a little bit more and here goes nothing. Oh. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, I'll press it here, and I think as I don't have three hands, I will 
just leave the excess glue where it is and it's more important that I keep the shape of the wing so I just hold it here for a few seconds okay time to glue the fuselage um, and this is what I want to achieve now uh, I've cut two grooves and I stolen this idea from flytest.com so please go to their website uh, or else so I hope that they won't sue me um, and you fold the side into the bottom like that and then you fold the top over so over and into and if everything is right you are supposed to be able to glue the parts to whoops <laughs> the parts together like this and then you have your fuselage and this is quite sturdy as it is so small uh, but I will start with gluing the sides and uh, as I'm going to sit there and hold it for a while I will turn off the camera also uh, in the drawing I have uh, I have explained how how you can do this or how it's supposed to be and the front part later on these parts are going together to make more like a V shape to the front of the wings and that's just the design touch you can cut it away or you can make something else out, out of it it has nothing to do with the performance so uh, I will do this and I will come back when it's ready right okay I have glued the sides together and uh, now I'm going to glue in the barbecue skewer for behind the wing uh, for the rubber bands and I do that now because I want to glue on the inside and not on the outside and then to get a little bit nicer finish but when I do that I need to glue the top together at the same time so I don't end up with a gap like that so don't remember uh, forget don't remember don't forget to put glue here, here, on this, and on top of this, and then put it together, and you will almost certainly burn yourself, but it's worth it, believe me. Okay, so now I've done this, and then now I've just cut out a piece of uh, leftover uh, material that I will put uh, in here underneath so it won't crack and uh, perhaps I will put the piece on here to uh, under here too uh, I definitely want this because uh, after we put the wing here and everything is glued there we will cut out this part so we can lift it off with the wing and then you need some extra strength uh, so that's why I cut this piece. Nobody can tell I'm doing this without a script, right? Okay, <clears throat> now I want to put the front end together. And as you can see, this will not work. So I have to adjust this so I can glue it together and I think I used the same method as I did with the with the hinges that I I will cut uh, just the paper on the inside take away the paper and use sandpaper to to uh, shape the edges and then I have more control over the shape 